Hello, Internet. Pavilla here with episode 114. But let's play Skyrim. When we last left off, we were in the middle of doing another storyline quest with the Thieves Guild. We uh, exploited Mercer's house and found a few things. And that's where we're going to start off this episode, is continuing that. Bring your Carlias said it was time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guild master is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, but I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. True. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturne, and the Twilight Sector. Okay. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stump. I'd ask you both to meet me there. All right. Oh yeah, and um, <clears throat> I'd like to apologize. That audio sounds a little different. Um, last weekend my computer's audio was acting up, and I had to reinstall the driver software for the audio device. And when I did that, it reset the audio—not the audio, the volume settings for everything, both the microphone and the game. So if it, if I sound a little loud, or I sound a little quiet, or if the game does, I apologize. <clears throat> All right, now then, let's see your map. No, no need map, need journal. All right, we'll do a set of these radiant quests before we go out and meet Carlyle the Standing Stone. <coughs> All right, let's see here. Hopefully, my nose clears. I sound a little nasty right now. See you again, friend. All right. Oh, we got one here to do. Okay. <laughs> Meant to do that. Finally establish a launching point in tomorrow wind. Just in case. My key bay key bay. <laughs> My keyboard over. What's a key bay? Is that something new I don't know about? A key bay? Hey, does anybody know what a key bay is? <clears throat> I don't want that. Nor would I want a key bay. It's gonna bother me this episode. What the hell's a key bay? I didn't really just snuck around other people's houses and do that. Okay. So flimmy. And my nose is a little runny. I'm not getting sick because anyone else around me is. Oh, let me down. Did you want something? Let's see. Down in the sweep job. Oh, you're back? Yeah. I suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. Um, extra work. I handle the yep. burglary. Yep. Yep. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. Do a sweep. Him. One of the quickest, if you're interested. This is your worst. The other person I have to go to one. Was it white run? House cleaning. 
What do you say? Yep, 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 yep. Fine. Just keep it clean. Here you go. Let's see. The bedhome job was okay. It is Windhelm. So this isn't Windhelm. This would be helpful. So your green hill is Solitude. That's fine. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna edit this out. Alright. Now who's looking at me? That's locked, so. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna lockpick it or anything. I keep forgetting, I keep thinking of this like Elder Scrolls 4, they just get up, save you, and touch the door. But as long as they didn't see a lock picket, they don't care if you enter or exit the house. Why did I do that? I don't want this stupid iron helmet. I don't care if this signature helmet of the game. It's a piece of crap item. Windhelm. Alright, after this, we're going to go back to do jobs. And then, we're going to do those two. And then we're going to go and start to Carlisle. But for all I know, this could, could be the last few jobs that we need to do to unlock that last item. Alright. Yeah, because I, I did some checking. And I went back and looked a little bit. I believe we are very, very close to unlocking that item. Let me know if you see any because the last item we unlocked happened after we completed our 75th job. And that was a while ago, so... I hate when he stands out like that. You can see everything I'm doing. Hey, Alright, well, let's see. I can steal this. This. Let's see here. It's probably, let's see here, about 200... Oh, I didn't see that, so actually, I'm only wanting to get that and that. Hmm. Or I can just take these three items. Alright. Let me see if I can wait a minute here. Or an hour, I should say. Yeah, you just stand at the counter. Wasn't enough. It's annoying. Still not. I used. Oh, mm, mm. I'm probably so close too. I don't want to take those other two items. Um. I guess, I guess I'll take fire salts. Yeah. Because the value that you see is different from the value that you need to get for some reason. I don't understand that. I'm wondering if it's like resale value. And then what we'll do, once we do <coughs> get our next two assignments, we'll do those first, and then on the way back, we'll talk to Carlia. I talk to Delvin first, just in case it gives me another Raven Rock job. What can I do for you? 
This kind of works, isn't it? But it's gonna be uh, the special job thing is probably not beginning. I hate when it does that. Because this look at all this meaningless dialogue. Look at all this. Oh yeah. Yep, 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 Bellum. Yep, 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 yep. Steal from anywhere in the hub. Here's everything you need. You can cool. Our name. How is money? Well, you dump and with no strings attached. Not bad. Here, got some got more than you can handle. Windhelm, okay. Got a message from one of my people. Good. Just remember the order. Do job for I'm trying to sell a few items real quick. Welcome to the cozy little usual guild raid. Let's take a look at them. Mark Hearth? Okay. Of course, I had to suit up in Mark Hearth now. Alright, let's see here. What do I need? Oh, I don't need those. I should really put some of these books somewhere. I guess, oh well, wait, I have some potions on me that I still didn't I? And speaking of potions, I probably should probably start stocking up on them again. I don't know, I still have 40 of these, 5 of those, 6 of those, and I have about 20 disease potions. The white file is full. Alright, I guess that's fine. Yeah, right, that's fine. Wait, how much coin do I have? <laughs> Jeez, I have 200,000 gold. That's what happens when you do a lot of raiding quests and not really use the money for anything. Alright, let's see here, do I have the jobs assigned? Okay, we'll do those first on the way back, we'll go do the storyline quest. I think I record for about another 20 minutes, so I think we're really, really good on time on top of it. Let's see here, is Adam's unlocked yet? Nope. That's fine. We're gonna get to that. It's just the most tedious part of the game is Guiano's items unlocked for the Thieves Guild. Alright, so we got a Mario Kart first. Let's see. Whose house am I going into? I'm gonna be a silversmith one day. Like my uh, oh, it's up there. Now I know you've come by for more than just a visit. What did you bring? Epo's house. I hope this, this mission isn't glitched because we killed everybody here. Because when you do a, th uh, a job like this, you're not supposed to kill anybody in the house. And we already did that, so... Yep. Mm. Nope. Take escape. At the tilde key. Tilda, tilde. Hit the tilde. I'm hitting the key wrong keys again. What is wrong with me today? Where's that one at? Oh. Nope, 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 nope. I want this. It's good there's nobody is yeah, just good there's nobody in here. I just hope that doesn't count against the job. If it's all pissy, he's like, you kill people. Uh. <clears throat> okay, Windhelm. Again. Uh Delvin. We annihilated Mark Karth for sweep jobs. Now we're annihilating nor slowly annihilating Windhelm for jobs. I mean, um, items. In the ancient time, you are God. May the gods watch over your back, friend. All right. I think there's only a f another set of items in here we can take, and then we have to wait for it to respawn. All 
There we go. Well, we can probably still take this. But then we'll probably have to take, like, ingredients. Yeah, see, there's some frost salts there. Yeah, there really isn't much left we can take. Oh, wait a minute. I remember now that side quest we had to do. Yep. I almost forgot about that. That's the one you know, I don't remember on top of my head, though. I'm going to have to look at the other two in the journal. Alright, let's see here. Now we're going to do this. So we need to go a little bit quickly to do this here. Go to stables. Alright, now I have to walk all the way around Riften. Be the fast way to do it this way. What's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. <coughs> what kind of edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. <sighs> Alright. This way, please. Mm. Oh, Marsh is following me? Okay. Wait, it's called Bring Off Mercer. <laughs> uh, I'm not awake yet. Must you walk so slowly? I have to like tap the up key to move forward. This is nightingale. This is aggravating. You're the first of the uninitiated It's like a very awkward sneaking I'm doing right now. Now, if you both proceed to the armory to don your nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Armor. Oh, that's right. You imagine we put armor on in this. It's kind of weird. Alright. I'm wondering if you have to shout requip when you do this. Requip! Oh, I thought. No. Okay. I guess it, it's just a magical way to give you your items. Okay. Um, oop, that's weapons. What am I doing? Oop. I can't see what I'm going. <laughs> I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. All right. No more very slowly walking. I right, walk a little bit faster now. Good. You will be ready for the earth. Time is wasting. And Mercer is still out there. Let's go. Okay, last. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first of the 
first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, master. Still walking so slowly. You can't use this right now. Really? Really, game? Must you make this time consuming? An arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. Uh, oh. Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yes, I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. Okay. I'm gonna say, why is Bruno just standing there? Now, can I open this? Oh, right, Carly just said she's gonna open the gate. I'm dumb. <laughs> it's weird, when I'm not awake, words just kind of float through my head. It's probably how I always had a problem in school in the morning. Alright, uh. I think we should trust the last. Western sunset, snore. Oh, and it shows the marker. Okay, I'm, I'm really dumb. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, come on. This isn't that difficult to do, it's just time consuming. I don't know how much time to do anything else after we get this done for this episode. Queen of Myrrh, <coughs> Empress of Shadow, hear my voice. Ah, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. <clears throat> you may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore uh, your status blowing? to save Carlisle. I can't tell if I'm glowing. I probably should hit the Q key before I end this cutscene. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Oh. Wait, he's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. The three of us could keep it. Sounds like no one else should possess it. The guild should possess this item. I'm just noble and say that no one should possess it. 
Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Oh, um, aren't you going to take that role? Maybe Delvin and Vex? Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. And why are you telling this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? What about you? Or Delvin? Or Vex? I mean, seriously, aren't they like the higher-ups? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. <laughs> I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's go get to it. I've been pouring over the Let's get to it. Let's go get to it. I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthad. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Alright. Until next we meet, lad. I don't know how much time has passed. I don't wait to see the next loading screen and see what the clock says. I can record for about another five minutes. Let's see here. Journal. Map. Oh, I should probably change my item. My, my uh, armor. Nah, I'll leave it for now. Done. Didn't muck it up, I hear. No. Good. Okay, so it didn't count you against share. me. Here. Yeah. Okay. What'll it be? Sweet. Just got a tip on this house. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Pull up a seat. And this kind of works, isn't it? But it's gonna be like you bloody good time it. Just go. Of course. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut and you'll do fine. Please not be Raven Rock. Wind Helm and Riften. Okay, we'll go do one in Riften real quick. Still on my idea. I'm surprised. Let's see here, from the last item we unlocked, we had to do 50 jobs, and I'm pretty certain we nearly done that. I wish I could, I really wish I could have a better track of how many we done. I can't remember off the top of my head. That's fine. 
I'm not gonna do anything else this episode. Just go back where and do a couple raiding quests. I'm gonna hit this out. I was a little close. Hey, above me, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, they're above me. All right. Really? I waited for the open. That's so aggravating. Good to see you again, Brian. Alright, this might be the last set of jobs we can do in this episode. So let me get this new job real quick. And... What are you doing, Dirge? Standing there on a the chair? I'm gonna break the back damn thing. Good news, I trust? Oh, you're back? Suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. Got plenty. Take your pick. Oh, good timing. The people. Fine. Just keep it clean. Here you go. Okay, map. Nope. nope. Journal. White run. Wind hill. Okay. first. Man, that was annoying. Voting screen was like five minutes. Now my mouse glitched. I wanted to restart the game after this. Alright. Actually, no, I can't see the mouse. Okay. That's fine. As long as I can't see stupid mouse. Oh, no, there it is. God damn it. Journal. Uh, okay, so I gotta go back to. Not go back. I haven't been there yet. Went home. Just don't understand the, the loading screen sometimes. It always does it, usually to white run. It just loads and loads and loads and loads, and then it's like, oh, it doesn't even work. It shows I had to pause recording, minimize the game, and then bring it back up, and I was fine. Now, but I have the mouse glitch. Yeah, luckily, yeah, you guys are lucky that I don't have the mouse enabled in Fraps, or that you would see a little white mouse floating around my screen right now, which is really, really annoying. Take a good look around. Seriously, Delvin doesn't like white uh, Windhelm. First smart card, no Windhelm. All right, let's see what I can take. Um. 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 Does he have like a strong box or something? Yes, he does. Oh, he's spying on me. That's right. Battle MW can't. Open things and steal from them. 
Yeah, he's spying on me. Uh, I don't think he has anything laying around I can just pick up and take. Nope. That's fine. Alright. Where am I going? Have you ever read the Wooden Skewer? That's very suspicious, you ask me. Um. Are watching me. I don't know who I don't know who this belongs to. Hopefully, I won't get in trouble for this. Okay. Um. Oh, I know where I can steal from. Dark Elf. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Yeah, he has some really nice valuables in here. Alright, let me take this. There we go. That was much longer than I wanted it to be. Alright, let me just go and get new jobs and clean the episode off. It's, these loading screens are going to be the death of me. I'm taking obnoxiously long to load. I don't like anything yet. Okay. What is it? So, what could I do for you today? Oh, nicely done. Is your bad time? Bring your. Of course. Cool. Just keep your eyes open and you'll have a shot and you'll do fine. Let me give you the details. Stealing and with no strings attached. Not bad. Here. Got plenty? Take your pick. Just got a tip on this house. Good. Just remember the order. Okay. Windhelm and... Yeah, Windhelm again. Ah, uh, Delvin. How much of a surprise there is it? And Riften. Great. I guess we'll do those first in the next episode. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.